Hey, this is Eric and I'm going to show you how you can accept registrations on your very own website by using our popover method. And I'm gonna show you how this all works. But essentially the popover method allows you to launch the page over your own website, just like this. And so it keeps people on your website and uh, that's how that works. So this method will work on most website builders and I'll walk you through how we do it on Webflow. But the process should be very similar with Wix, Squarespace, and most website builders. So the first thing, we're going to make sure we have our registration page, so make sure you have that handy. And then we're gonna look at our documentation here. So the first thing is we need to add this CSS file into our header. And the head tag is available on most websites that allow you to have some design control, and so we have some options here for how to find that with some of the popular uh, tools out there, but I'm going to copy this and using Webflow, here's my little website builder. And Webflow, uh, what they do is they have a settings little gear. And so if I go down here, I go down here, you'll see custom code and I can just paste this in just like that. So that's the first step. What that does is allows us to use an external script uh, and style for that little popover window. So I'm gonna save that. And then the second step is to then drag an HTML element with our embedded code onto your page. So we're gonna go back over to the help guide here and I'm going to copy this text here and we're gonna go back here. In Webflow, you can add a little widget here and we're gonna choose the embed, which is also HTML and we'll toss that there. And then we're going to paste in that code. Now from this code view, a couple important things. The first is this is the URL of the popover. You will need to change this with your own registration page from RegFox. Otherwise, you'll have a really cool but joke Dunder Mifflin registration page. So be sure to switch that out and keep those uh, quotation marks there. So it's really important you just change that. And then if you wanna change the language of the button, you just change the text there. So we'll hit save and close. And so right there, uh, in this little preview, it shows me that that is kind of there uh, in the page. So you could drag that around if you want, uh, but I'll leave it there. And then Webflow, I'm going to publish this. And so that saves it. And then I'll be able to test this here in a moment. There we are. So we can click preview. And here we have a little generic button. I click register now, and there it is. So pretty cool. So there's another method you can do this. So this first method is going to generate that button for you. But maybe your website builder already has buttons and you just want to use an existing button in your framework. So let me show you how you do that. The first thing I'm gonna do is we still need to embed that code snippet. So if I look here and I look at the code snippet, I have all of this uh, in, in here, but I'm going to just remove this little tag for the button code here we're gonna keep everything else. So we're gonna remove that button, but all of the rest of the stuff is still important. So we'll save and drop that there. And then I'm gonna go and add a button. Let's see here, we got a button right there. So we have button text and we can say, register now online. And so we have that button that conforms to my existing styles, but I need to do one other thing is I need to click on it and then you need to assign an ID to it. And that ID we sign, if you look back in the code here, is it looks for this, my button with the capitalization. So an easy way is to copy it from that example. And we're gonna go back here and in Webflow, this is where that is. But again, your website builder might be different, but having an ID on a button is what's important. So dragging my themed button there or any place I want to have it, that's fine. As long as this other embed script is somewhere on the page, it doesn't matter if that's how you do that. And then let's hit publish for this one and we'll test that one. All right, we're published. Let's preview this one. And here is my new button that conforms to my template. Click that and there's how it works. So this also works great on mobile as well, so that's a nice advantage. This is a much more preferred method than the traditional embed with an iframe inside your website. So that is how it works, just the head code and then dragging that code snippet into your page or assigning the ID on the button. So that is how that works. Hopefully that's helpful for you. 
and we'll see you in the next tutorial.